Okay, so now that we have a new flash file made, we should go ahead and save this thing immediately. Click File and Save As. You're going to want to save it to your H drive. I don't have access to my H drive from where I'm making this, so I'm simply going to call this Assignment 1 Gregoris. Every time I save the file, it's important for me to hit Control S so that that way I continually save it. Whenever you make changes, you're going to want to save your file. Here we have a blank screen, and on our first layer, we're going to create a background. If I go up over the layer tool and I see layer name highlighted, if I double click, it's going to allow me to edit the layer name. I'm going to call layer one background. When I call it background, that means that I'm planning on making sure that anything that remains static or the same on my entire scene is there. So I'm going to draw a couple of rectangles using the rectangle tool. I'm going to change the color of the fill because I'm going to make some green grass. And I'm going to change the color of the stroke because I want my grass to not have a black outline. I'll then take my cursor and draw myself some green grass through my flash file. Next, I'm going to take my rectangle tool and since it's a nice clear day, I'm going to make some blue sky. I'll do this again using the same rectangle tool process, clicking and dragging across. Now I've got my stage with my flash file and my background. Notice if I go up to where the eye icon is, it'll let me show this layer or hide this layer. If I select hide, I won't see what is in my background. This is useful when you're creating a new symbol and you want to make sure that you're only selecting the things that you want for your symbol. The other thing I can do is lock my background so that it cannot be changed. It's a good idea to lock your background so that that way you don't continue to draw on it. And that's how we can use some of the simple drawing tools. Other drawing tools include the oval tool, the oval primitive, and the polystar tool which allow you to draw polygons. As well we have a line tool, a pencil tool which allows us to free draw, and a brush tool. If you select a tool and you find that you can't see enough of the properties in the toolbar, simply click the double arrow in the top. When you click the double arrow, it will give you items like the brush shape, allowing you to change the shape of your brush, and the brush size, allowing you to change the size down as well. And that's it. Now you know how to create a background and how to use some of the primitive tools.